All right, so that's, that's our chicken chunks. And then this was a, another huge thing, mind mapping. How, how many of you have done mind mapping before? Mind mapping. I, I had heard of it, but I never really had experienced it before. And um, Mr. Ferrero, it would be nice if we had our flip chart. <laughs> You want to work off of there? Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, you don't need it. Then Christina is a professional and she knows what to do. <laughs> we're, we're going to um, actually go through a demonstration of mind mapping because there's different there's programs that actually do this with software. And some of the, the diagrams that you've seen, I created using that program. And I love that program. But um, I also started using it by hand. I started doing mind mapping by hand. And I found it's just as powerful. And let me explain what, what the mind mapping is. Um, we're jumping, we're passing this. This is about chunking up the copy, and I'm going to explain that to you tomorrow. The mind mapping is you write down your central idea in the middle. Take a piece of paper. Um, I like to do it uh, uh, lateral, lo long ways, so, so you have more room. But you can do it however it works for you. You write down the central idea. And in fact, you have notebooks. Uh, it would be nice if you guys would flip to a, a blank page in your notebooks, because we're going to mind map a little bit today. Um, so your central idea is in the middle, and then you brainstorm ideas around that idea, and then you look for relationships. That's all there is to it. So let's do an example of a mind map. There, uh, Christina has one drawn over here where there's a central idea. Um, let's pick a topic. How about a, a product? Savvy, would you like to do this? <laughs> Savvy, uh, um, all right. The central topic, you'll need a microphone. I have one. And good. The reason I picked Savvy is because she has a product, and sometimes those are a little easier to illustrate when you're doing an example like this um, as far as features and benefits and making things more clear. And she's bringing her product up here. Go ahead and explain to is us this, quickly what uh, this is. is this yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Greatest pillow I've ever had. <laughs> it showed Thanks. up at our house, and I'm like, oh yeah, pillow, great. <laughs> Try and get it away from me now. <laughs> <laughs> It is oh, a cool you know, yeah. you know, John, I write that. I wrote some copy for um, my child's pillow, and I took it from my godson, and I said, kids love them. You know how I know? Because they say, my pillow, when you try to take it away from them. Oh, I love it. That's great. That's fantastic. OK, so the central idea is the pillow. That is the product. That's the object. So let's kind of describe it. Um, OK, um, it's. Um, we'll just brainstorm about it. You can, I, I guess we could pass it around to people. You want to tell us some things about it? Yeah, why don't I tell you some things about it, and then. And, then and people can kind of okay. feel it. Um, Use the mic, please. It's, it's um, uh, ergonomic. It, it conforms completely to you. It's more moldable and pliable than memory foam. It's made out of completely organic material, so there is no trace chemicals. Um, the patented design is that it's a box-shaped casing with a double-chambered filling. There's organic buckwheat or millet in the bottom, which um, molds to your, around your neck and, and holds your head and keeps it elevated up off the mattress. And there's fluffed wool batting on the top, which wicks away, wicks away moisture from nightly perspiration. It cushions your ear so that... Slow down just a bit so Christina can catch up. She's doing good. <laughs> She's catching you. Um, and it, 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 cushions, it cushions the delicate tissues of your face and your ear um, because buckwheat hulls can get hard feeling. And... Um, and wool is a natural insulator, so it keeps you at the right temperature, so it's breathing, breathable. It's a very, very healthy pillow. Um, the elite in Japan have been sleeping, and in Asia have been sleeping on buckwheat hull pillows for hundreds and hundreds of years. And I feel that the addition of the wool really brings this to a more state-of-the-art um, pillow. It's a green product. It's... Um, <laughs> Someone's chicken went off. <laughs> Um, all right, so these, a lot of these are features, and some of the, you mentioned a few benefits, so you start making relationships. Um, Christina already knows how I work with the, the features and the benefits being separate. So some of the benefits you're saying some it, of the it, it... Some of the well, benefits are that it, it is that you can find your position of comfort quickly, okay. and, and then you'll you get sleep a better deeper. Night's sleep. You get a better night's sleep. 
because you stay in alignment all night long. And then how does that help you? If you have a better night's sleep, then the next day? Then the next day you, you are just, ready to live the life of your dreams. So all those that you want to yeah. connect all those dots as we're doing the copy, we will, we're going to get to that, but I just wanted to illustrate. Thank so, you. So, no, you're welcome. What are some of the questions that people would ask, the frequently asked questions people would want to know about that pillow? Linda has a question. How to wash it. That's a good one. Anybody else? That's great. Actually, just jump in. What, what are some questions you have about, about the pillow? Susan? Which side do you sleep on? Oh, which side do you sleep on? Good. Is it noisy? Is it noisy? That's mm -hmm. good. How often does it need to be replaced? Ah, these are excellent. Does it come in like king size pillows? Oh, okay. does it come in king size pillows? It, does it come do you in want me to answer colors? any of these questions? Um, no, not yet. You're going to do all these in the copy, but these are things that your audience is going to want to know. So you're going to want to address all of those sorts of things. Oh, thank you. Yeah, these are great. Yeah. yeah any, great anybody questions. else? Anything that, that comes to mind? Can you, how much? Can you repeat the questions and, as they're asked? And this is of course. A, thank this you. This is a smaller version, so, and it's my packaging. So some of the questions are how much? Oh. Uh-oh. They found you again. <laughs> uh, how do you wash it? Which side do you sleep on? Is it noisy? How often do you replace it? Does What's it the cost? The sizes? What's yeah. that? Does it, have, does it, does have it smell? Does it have an odor? Yeah. Is there a return guarantee? Is there a guarantee? Right. How much does it weigh? Ah, how much does it weigh? Right. Yeah. Do you charge shipping? <laughs> <laughs> how, how does it compare to a, a comfort of a down pillow? Ah, how does it compare to comfort of a down pillow? Are there people who have allergies to buckwheat, to wool, to wool? Susan? Is there a travel version? Oh, is there a travel version? Is there a horseshoe pillow? It's coming around. <laughs> and, it, and it, yes? Can you distinguish it from its largest competitor, namely Bucky? Oh, yeah. How does it compare up next to Bucky? How does it stack up? Very cool. Bucky is B-U-C-K-Y. All right, and so now Bucky let's take with, with the competitors. Who is your competition? This would be another, uh, another branch. Bucky is your competition, right? And who else would be? Dreamtime. Okay, Dreamtime. Are there any? Do you do these for pets? <laughs> yeah, it could um, be a different I, I don't yet because um, of financial things. I mean, you, you just can start so many products going. Are these handmade? But they are. By you? No. Okay. <laughs> but um, they're, they're sewn by, uh, uh, it's a woman-owned business. Uh-huh. So it's Oh, that's that. nice. That's yeah. a nice um, feature. That, yeah. Made in the United States. That's great. Definitely get that out. Uh-huh. So you see how these ideas come up, but they're not necessarily coming up linearly. They come up all over the place. And that's the beauty of a mind map, because you can draw them all over, and you can draw lines to make relations about whatever it is that, that your business is. Um, and so what I'd like us to do is to do a little mind map. Thank you, Savi. Thank you very you're, much. You're very welcome. Um, we're going to do a, a, we're going to use our chicken, <laughs> and we're going to do a mind map of our own business, just thinking of what sorts of questions are going on in your your target market's head, and we'll we'll get more into the target market after this bit, but just just to get practice with doing a mind map. So, are there any questions about the mind map about what we're going to do? Nope. Okay. So we're going to take 15 minutes and mind map your own business with a central idea on a piece of paper and your notebook. Okay. So. <laughs> That one was real. That's, that's it. Uh, how did that go for you guys? Was it fun? Yeah. Was it helpful? I want to tell you, um, I want to get some feedback from you guys. So we're going to start at the back, and if people have feedback, and work our way up, because John doesn't like my aerobic plan of ha having people go talk from different sides of the room and running the mic. So we're going to try to consolidate ideas. But, but what I wanted to tell you is so a lot of the stuff that I asked you to put down, I haven't even really covered yet. And we're going to cover it all over the next couple of days. But the truth is you have a lot of this stuff in you already. So it's, it's there. And uh, you've already started writing your copy. This is one of the first steps. And uh, it's, it's going to be easier than you think. So let's get some feedback from 
the back of the room. Well, let's start on the very back table. So, so John does, has to do as little as possible. That's my job. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Felicia. Um, one of the things that I liked was that I had already started writing my headline. I was getting it. Um, once I started talking about writing about who my target market was and what the benefits were, all of a sudden I saw, well, here's their problem. And cool. I know how to fix it. So that was, that was pretty cool because I didn't have any clue where to start. Awesome. I used this thumb for my new book that's coming out. And it was, even though I might have asked these questions, it was so much more fun to do it in this way. I think I would have struggled a lot more like, okay, tell me about the features. And I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> and I always have an easier time coming up with the features than the benefits. And so sometimes I get told, no, that's right. a feature, not a benefit. So I had to I struggle to like write that and go, okay, just write anything. I kept saying, so what? What does this do to their bottom line? What does this save them? What does this make them? What are their... And so it was just great. And then even through this process, I noticed which threads are going to be the most important pieces and go, if there's one thing I get across, this is the main headline or the main selling point for this book. And I realized Yay. I didn't even get to the offer ideas, the guarantees. And I'm like, whoa, I wow. need to do this some more. Yay, that's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, this was way fun. So thank you. Good. And we are, tomorrow, that's one of the first things we're going to get to are features and benefits. And we'll do it more of the linear way. You, you saw earlier when I had the, the column, the two columns, the features and the benefits. Um, when you combine like the mind mapping, the like all over the place and making connections with the linear way, it plugs up all the holes. So we're going to get into a more explanation of that tomorrow. Yes, and I really like the way it almost gives you a cheat sheet for yourself. You know, you can put something down right. and then say, well, wait a minute, I saw that over there, and that reminds me of this. Right. It, it definitely, as you were saying, it erases the pressure of, oh, my God, 10 benefits. Oh, I don't know any benefits. Why don't I know any benefits? I'll never be able to do this. How, long, how much longer is this going to go on? It's like, you don't have that. Then hop over there, and that brings you back to where you were. And one other exactly. tip, um, I've been doing this since the last workshop more. I've actually made myself do it by hand. I hate to do anything by hand. I do most things on the computer. But I found with this I would get like a, I use that legal paper, the big paper, right. and a little pencil that you can erase. And so then I feel I can really like go all over the place and erase it and move it. And I find like with one paper, sometimes you get a little bit confined. So I think it's fun when you get into it. You can find the little tricks that work for you. And it, I now, I use this when I start anything, anything, even if it's like a tiny little thing, I put it on here because that makes sure that you kind of access everything that you have in your head or that you've picked up and I agree. that it's in there somewhere. Thank so, you. Awesome. I agree. It's good for decision making. If you, if you want to know whether or not uh, it's the right idea, what are the pros, what are the cons. They actually, in the software program, they ha which they now have for Mac, by the way, at MindJet. Yeah, MindJet has it for Mac now. Vicky told me that. And um, one of the, the programs, I can demonstrate that a little bit later. But they have like a decision tree, how, how you make choices and stuff. And it's, it's just because it gets you out of your own way. It's cool. Vicky. Um, when I was going through this, and um, I got stuck on the features and benefits also, cool. and I hopped down to competition and who my competition was, and, and it helped with what Perry was talking about. I, I don't have any. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> but, you know, um, it, it, it just helps unblock things, and I, I just it's incredibly powerful. So my frequently asked questions, I mean, tripled from what I showed up here with. Wow. So, yeah. And you've been working on this stuff. That's fantastic. I have, fantastic. yeah. This, is, this I brought my baby with me. So... Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else have comments like uh, at Linda's table? I feel like I just got liberated because I Woo. do mind mapping, but I haven't done it at all. I have flip charts hanging all over my house right. with stickies on it. That's and it's another like, good way. It works really great. I'm making no headway over here, and I go wandering off, and I'm f I've completely forgotten. Whereas this, having it on one piece of paper, just keep dumping, keep emptying right here, right here, right here, right here. Really liberating. Awesome. I have no idea how to make this work for the website, we but will. for a product, it was perfect. Great. Awesome. Anybody else? Well, I've been struggling with copy for my website, and I just now got the answer because I mind map using Post-its. Yes, I which get a is flip a chart, fantastic. and then I just start doing this because Way, I can yeah. move them around without erasing. But I'd never thought about applying the technique to the problem I've been struggling with for, oh, how many months? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I had a big aha uh -huh also. Um, I, I mind map. I use MindJet. I do it all the time. But, you do. Um, and I'm, I'm not a linear thinker. I'm a gestalt thinker. Mm -hmm. And one of the problems I have, as you saw yesterday with Oval, is 
I have reams of data and information. And I've been reading it and reading it and reading it, um, and it hasn't, I haven't internalized it. So what I did is I just started going through this stuff and mapping it my way, and it's just, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm just getting so many ideas, and I'm really beginning to get a grasp on what I know about it. So this was a big aha. That's fantastic. It's also, like you said, you have to laser focus, because you can't write a paragraph in this. You, you've got to get a point and hit it. It's excellent. Does anybody else have a comment? No, Sam, Chander. <laughs> well, I found it was easy, especially with doing it with somebody else. And, uh, but also, awesome. it's a great way to improve on something. So I was thinking, even with, What's missing, in, right? with their clients, you know, when they want to improve on a product, right? or if they're looking at a competitor's product, and say, you know, how can we improve on that by using this? Right, and you know, that's a good point. You could actually do an entire mind map on your competitor's product or their business and see what's missing, yeah. see what, how you gel together. That's a good point. Great. All right. Well, I actually I think I'm going to, since we have a little bit of time, I'm going to show you the MindJet. Uh, when I go to seminars and things, I actually take this mind mapping software with me and throw out ideas. I went to Gary Halbert's seminar last year, and he's like a maniac. And it, you really, it's very difficult to keep up with his concepts because he's all over the place. And this was a, a beautiful uh, solution for me. Listen to me. Open. You can see it says central topic, and that's where you start. I'm trying to open one that's already done, though. It'll make it easier. Oh, this is John's computer, so there's not one done. Ha! Well, that's all right. I'm going to show you what you would do. The central topic, let's say, um, let's say the speed copywriting workshop. All right, so then you, you add subtopics by going up. Or no, this would be a major topic, sorry. So the main topic is let's just talk about the outcomes, what, what you're going to learn, learn a replicatable, actually, outcomes. And then we'd make that be a subtopic, learn system. Subtopic, building blocks. Subtopic, networking, subtopic, um, and in networking, uh, maybe joint ventures, maybe masterminding, which we're doing. Uh, let's see, what else? What are some other outcomes? The sales cycle. Hey, this is John's site. Hi. <laughs> this is a very sensitive little guy. All right. <laughs> so uh, the sales cycle. And then I can, of course, I can, I can go in here and explain what the sales cycle is. The sales letter. Yes? This is a this is a program okay. actually that's it it does the same thing but what's cool is you can print it out and it's very neat and you can it's it's um just another way of, of getting that information out there so those are oh and have fun oh that yay have fun um, all right so what else about the speed copywriting workshop that another topic would be what are the rules? And this room is a sanctuary. Ta da da da. Now I'm more describing what, what the outcomes are. I can I can bring up anything I want. So let's say we're gonna talk about features and benefits, which we're gonna do tomorrow. So I'm gonna define what a feature is. 
And I can, I can lay out my entire workshop this way. So it's just an example of how you, one idea leads to another, leads to another. Tuli, we need a microphone. Where'd my mic guy go? Oh, thanks. You're good. You can tell you're a speaker. She waits very patiently. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, one thing I like about this is if you're a post-it sticky kind of person, you can click anywhere on that grid and type and drag it to where, if you're not sure where it's going to go. That's true. You're right. So you can, I can decide the rules goes as a subtopic of outcomes or no, I changed my mind. Sales cycle goes over here. Yeah, that's a, that's a good just, point. You can also brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm off to the side off and then to the drag. side and just start. Um, which is what I find myself doing all the time. Yeah. I'm not sure which one of those is, but but yeah, just you can you type. can make what's just, just click anywhere you just and start, just start typing. typing, yeah. Okay. Or Let's anywhere in the grid, yeah. Ah. Ah, see there you go. Tuli says <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite phrase. It's in all of my travel guides. <laughs> Yeah, and you you can create lists, and then you can add them, and isn't that it's fun? Fabulous! I can get twice as much done this way. And what's it's just it's really fun. It's rather addictive, and you can go through and decorate them and make them pretty. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but um, but I just want to show you because it makes it you know the oh yeah you can also you can put in. Objects. Yes, you can insert objects like, um, where'd you go? Insert image. That's it, map marker. These are fun, actually, when I was, tr when I was trying to, I, I did these on the sales copy wheel. I used this program to create that, that we saw with all the, the different ways to drive traffic and what you do with it. And I had them all prioritize one, two, three, four, and five. So it's just a fun thing to do. It's another way to get your, your ideas down. And it's at mindjet.com or uh, the, the Mac version. Well, it's also there at Mindjet. It's called Mind Manager. Right. And get the cheap version. You don't, you don't, it's overkill. I mean, you already won't even use all this stuff on here. But, but it's fun, and it's a really great tool. Resume slideshow. All right. All right, so that, that was mind mapping. And you know, there are some references also about the post-it thing. The, uh, different, you can, it's just another way of getting that information out there using big post-it things. In fact, um, Vicki, I know you went through this process extensively. Can you speak to that concisely about how you worked out the, the post-it version of mind mapping? It was, it was incredible. Yeah? yeah. Go ahead and speak to that. It was uh, with James Roche when I developed my product. And uh, we literally covered every surface we could put one of these giant stickies on. So it was, it was one huge sticky. And then with, within it was, you know, dozens and dozens of, of smaller ones with all right. the different ideas. And the beauty of that was we could shift them around. If, nope, this needed to go first. No, I really, you know. So it was the, the um, more mechanical version of, of MindJet software, but it was right. so effective. It took all the mumbo jumbo out of my head and put it out onto the wall. Right, and they, all of the, thank you, all of these versions do that, and that is, that's really one of the big components for me for writing quickly, the speed copywriting, is doing this kind of brain dump and, and getting your thoughts organized, letting them organically organize themselves. They sort themselves out, which is really cool. It's amazing how, it's, it's, before I had ever mind mapped, I had no idea how powerful it was. And the, I was hooked the very first time I did it. 